The three skills you need to have to be a mother are to be responsible, caring and loving. Driving, cooking and tidying. Patience and firmness. And you need um, to love your child. You need to take care of your children. Spend quality time with them when you have time. And give an unconditional love. You need to be patient and you have, need to have unconditional love. Loving us, helping us with homework and leading us into worship. She knows when and where she needs to be and what she needs to do. It's good for me that you can talk to your mum and that she doesn't judge you and she helps you. She always knows what to say and how to cheer you up. Yeah. Helping her children and um, giving them what they need. I think that a mother should have the skill of caring, loving, and maybe cooking. I don't know. Yeah, that's what it is. Cooking, hugging, and not getting angry at your husband. My mum's three skills is taking care of us, teaching us about God, and encouraging us to do the right things. Realise you're going to be a mum forever. Spend time with your children and love your children unconditionally every day. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm super sorry. But Josh, you could say she always gets us to eat healthy. Somehow. What good qualities does mummy have? She's nice, she cares, she comforts people. You need to be patient, good at communicating and understanding. Be loving, caring and patient. In my opinion, to be a mum, you need to have a husband. My mum's superpower is probably head massages. My mum has cooking powers. My mum has loving powers. And she has discipline powers. She makes delicious food. Our mum's superpower is cooking. My mum's superpower is precision because she's always right on time with the food. Cooking. My mum's superpower is she can control me. Making scrumptious meals and being very generous and hospitable to others. To be able to make amazing meals in just a few minutes. She can clean the house so quickly. Uh, making pancakes um, and spaghetti bolognese and loads of other really nice foods. And um, she gives me really good hugs, so yeah. My mum's superpowers are she can clean my room in 10 minutes or I take one hour. Mum always knows how to hide vegetables in our food. <laughs> Ones we don't like. Especially, Especially yeah. Anyway, um, my mum is also very good at arts and crafts and she makes me happy when she teaches me how to do it. The things that I really love about my mum are that she's really kind and thoughtful and she's, she's really strong as well. Um, and not in just one way, both ways, she's really strong. My mum loves me back as well and she really loves me. Mummy, it's your special day. Now it's time for me to say I'm glad for all the things you do. Thank you, Mummy. I love you. I love that my mum is an amazing cooker. I love that she works hard for us and that she's always cheerful and gives good advice. What I love about my mum is that she loves me unconditionally. That she loves me whenever I love her back and she just loves me when I'm angry, sad or any emotion that you guys feel. What I love about my mum is she smells so nice. Making me feel safe just by hugging me. What I love about my mum is she's amazing in every way. Me and mum have a group of inside jokes that only us know and occasionally we just say them in front of everybody and we just burst out laughing and it's just it's great it feels fun and that's what i love one of the things i love about mum and another one of the things i love about mum is that when my dad is always in a meeting in the evening um me joshua and my mum we sit at the table and we just laugh our heads off yeah she helps me with my homework even when i'm struggling what we love about our mum is that she's fun and entertaining. She is my best friend 
who understands and supports me in every possible way. We do absolutely everything together. And this is what makes my mum so special, that she is there for me all the time. I love my mum because she loves me in all my bad days as well as my good days. The other really nice and very important other woman in my life except my mum are probably um, my uh, my aunties. Um, uh, we got uh, Auntie Wanda, Auntie Linda and Auntie Maria and uh, definitely my sister Faith and my my grandmas, um, my granny and my mama. My dear grandma, who unfortunately is no longer with us. She was very kind, caring and giving. She was always smiling and she made the most delicious cakes in the whole wide world. The other person is my auntie, Amisha, who has a great sense of humour. We often laugh together, even on the phone. And she is an amazing storyteller. My aunts and my grandparents, because they're all there for me. And Anna, because she puts up with us in tweens. Well, there's someone from Scotland who we call Auntie Muriel. She may be old, but she always finds a way to cheer me up and she always finds some of her children's old toys that I can play with whenever we go to her house. My aunt Donnie. Mm -hmm. The canteen ladies from my school. They always have a way to make me smile. I'm also going to say my aunt because she really loves me and makes me, makes like our time like really good. Our, even our day better. Yes, yeah, she does. Auntie Rachel, Auntie Maria, Auntie Kim, Auntie Johnny, and I can tell them anything and then they just help they me through it, I guess. And we also have jokes with them as well. So. It's my form teacher because she does really fun things with us. <gasps> and Granny! Hi everyone, I'm Eileen. I'm Rocco. And we'd like to wish you a Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And we wanted to say that Mother's Day sometimes can be a sad time for some people. Some of you might have lost your mums and might be thinking of your mum at this time that you might have lost in recent years. Or some of you might have had just different things that you're thinking about this time that make you sad. Some of you might have wanted to have children but haven't had the chance to have that and it seems quite difficult at the moment and I also know that some people might not have never been mummies but make excellent aunties or have been looking after children in many different ways and we're very thankful for that and we just wanted to say yes it might be a sad time but we are thinking of you and we would like to say a prayer. Rocco would you be able to pray? Yeah thank you. Thanks. Dear Jesus, please be with um, all those children who have maybe lost their mums or have had to be apart from their mums maybe because of a problem in their country. And I pray that uh, all those children and all the mums who maybe didn't get the chance to become mums and loads of other stuff and problems uh, in, in the country, as I said. I pray um, for you to be with them and know that you will, you're will you always with them. Um, even though we can't see you, please guide them and help them to know that you are with them. And I just pray for um, maybe just all the problems for Mother's Day and hope all those and hope Mother's Day goes really well for them. In your name, Amen. Amen. We love you, Mommy. We love you. Bye. Bye.